Hey guys, Jeremy Jacobitz here. If you're new, welcome. If you're not new, welcome back. So love to see your beautiful faces. This is a series I call Film Fridays where I go through my film photos and we go through the photos because the beauty of film is that I forget what I shot and it's a mystery to me and it's always fun going through them. And an extra special video today because I'm holding here the brand new Kodak Gold 200, 120 millimeter film. Uh, brand new film, which is kind of crazy in 2022 to be like, oh, there's a new film. Um, but I was excited to test it out. You know, my 35 millimeter sort of go back and forth on a lot of them. I, I tend to actually really enjoy shooting on the Kodak Gold uh, a lot there. So I was excited to mess with it in medium format and shot it all on the Fuji GA645. This is the point and shoot medium format. Uh, I've shot this one before. Hopefully you've seen those videos before. Love the camera. Really easy to use. I think this one's a little funky to be honest, but very easy to use. Takes beautiful photos. And I'm excited to see what these photos look like. I honestly, um, I have no clue what I shot. I shot them a few weeks ago and I don't remember at all. So it's a mystery to you and is a mystery to me. And like I said, that is the joy of film. So let's open them up and take a peek. Ah, okay. So it is open and now I remember these are two rolls I shot in San Francisco. Even more exciting. <laughs> I forget. I was in San Francisco two and a half weeks ago for another project and I already forgot, but ooh, photo number one. I'm already loving these colors. Like uh, when I shoot any sort of film, I try and overexpose and sometimes I hit it and sometimes I miss the mark, but all film looks beautiful, even in messed up photos. But shot number one, I really like obviously these old school trolleys in San Francisco. This is actually right outside the hotel. Um, okay, I'm kind of, I'm kind of a fan already of this film. You know, it's supposed to be very similar to Portra, shouldn't it be that different? So like pretty saturated, pretty nice. I think that's why you also, you want to overexpose a little bit to, uh, for it also, but ah, it just makes me feel good. I mean, look at the, all right, so here's picture number two. Oh man, it's exposed so nicely, a little over, look at the blues in the skies. Like this is why you shoot film, sort of have that dynamic range. And to give you a feel, you know, I think like this, this photo gives me a feel. Hopefully it gives you a feel. I don't know. Let me know in the comments below, but, um, all right, two for two. This film is making me happy. So here is a uh, Chinatown in San Francisco. Like one of the, it's just like the entrance gate to it. Um, and also just like, I really love the way the greens are coming out here. Like a little, like, uh, maybe like a little bluey, a little undersaturated. Um, but I think everything's exposed really nicely. Like you could just look, you look at the shadows, like where the cars are and then you look at the ground here. Like, again, I was trying to overexpose a little bit, but you know, you could make out everything. Nothing's lost, which is really, really nice. Um, San Francisco was oh, a city that mm, is still having issues from COVID. Like Chinatown walking through it here was like, there was just no people there are no shops nothing was open and it's sort of like a dilemma of well you know the shops can't be open because there's no people but no people are going to go there because the shops aren't open um it's it's it, it was rough it was rough it was it, it was rough um here is the uh was this the ferry terminal in san francisco i think so yeah yeah yeah, yeah. And I was sort of like, you know, so much classic architecture in San Francisco. I really did love it. I loved walking. I walked on for hours taking these photos. I can't believe I forgot I did that. Um, uh, just an absolutely beautiful city. So this is the Oakland Bridge. Is that the name of it is? But connect the bridge that connects San Francisco to Oakland. It's not the famous bridge in San Francisco, but another beautiful bridge and right on the water there. Obviously, it's a bridge. It's right on the water. <laughs> Um, so you kind of like, if you've ever been to San Francisco, you kind of walk from there to the Golden Gate. Like it's, it's, it's a very, very long walk, but you sort of walk all the way along the coast there. And that's sort of what I did. So this is just like when the boardwalks right there, obviously San Francisco, uh, famous for the seals, lots of seal statues everywhere, which I really enjoyed. This is a cool one. This is like one of the first times I've like shot on this camera where I feel like 
it's all exposed the way I wanted it to be exposed. Maybe shooting at, at, at 200 just like really, I, I guess maybe my eye for it was pushing it even a little further over um, than I, my brain would go on 400 maybe. I, I don't know. The compensation for what I was trying to do, who the hell knows, but I really like this. So here's another seal thing, but this time made out of flowers and plants or whatever the hell. Oh, so these are the real seals. I know you can't tell here because I wasn't shooting on a long lens, but these were just like a, a few dozen, maybe a hundred seals just laying out and living their life and chilling. I really love the way um, the blues and greens are coming out. And obviously so many blues and greens shooting along the water. It's just like this film is perfect for it. So that's um, Alcatraz all the way in the back there and this is the boardwalk sort of going out there i wanted to get even closer but you couldn't walk past where i was for some reason you couldn't get to that end of the uh boardwalk there this is just an old docked boat they had there in the harbor you know i really love when you're shooting i think film and old things just go together so well they're made for each other you know So there's Alcatraz again. They have like, listen, somebody at some point years ago cut out this little tiny hole, perfect for photos. I didn't exactly line it up uh, the way I, I was expecting to line up. Kind of wanted you to feel like you're going through the fence there, which is the intention. Uh, but you know, shooting on film uh, like this and you can't ever really exactly see what's in the lens. Uh, so I was a little off, but that's okay. Just again, I was just walking through. I don't even know where I was in the city, honestly, but just thought, oh, that's a cool looking old sign, little city. I think it looks good. I mean, the reds look good, the greens look good, the blues look good. I'm loving this film. I'm loving it. Uh, well, here's the first messed up photo. Here's, I don't even remember the name. It was the, the, you know, the, fine, the famous skyscraper in San Francisco there. I wonder why it's out of focus. I mean, it's, it's automatic focus, but generally, like, <laughs> it generally nails it, but oh, well. And then here's just another sign in Chinatown walking through. Because I sort of walked through and back and through and back and blah, 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 blah. But okay, roll one, done. And I I, I really like it. I like This is honestly one of the first times I've shot an entire roll where, except for the out-of-focus one, I thought all of them like, look, look really great. This film's making me really happy. But we have one more roll of it to get through, so let's check that out. Ah, okay, so I went to go try and see the Golden Gate Bridge, and I thought, like, okay, it's usually pretty foggy there. Why don't I wait um, for the fog to dissipate? Like, let, let the sun come out, the sun burn through some of the fog, and you can see the bridge. So I got there around, like, 11 a.m. or so, and, you know, the fog was just as heavy and dense as it ever would be. Um, I was told this is called Carl, Carl the Fog? I think so. Uh, I waited out there. Just give me a few photos of the bridge. God, I waited for about 45 minutes. You almost just have to like get it right in the middle of when the fog's rolling through. Like you can't just wait for the fog to go away. You have to like find the little spaces in between to get the shot, um, which is frustrating. But I tried. I tried. This one's a little better. This one's a little better. Kind of make it out. I think there's like a there's an eeriness to it. There's a coolness to it with the fog. So you know, I don't I don't hate these photos at all. Like this one's kind of cool. Just kind of just poking through just a little bit. You're seeing. A little bit of the beach down there. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Another one. See a little bit more of it. I was like trying to like, ooh, where's that, where's that moment you could get it? Almost. <clears throat> one, more try, one more try. Of course, this is what happened. So I'm up close to the bridge waiting for a good 45 minutes and I give up. I'm like, I got enough shots. I got something. Let me just get out of here. So I start walking all the way back. And of course, I turn my head. I'm like, ah. Oh, there it is. But by the time I'd get back there, it would be foggy again. So I just took this last shot. I still think it's pretty cool. Ah, so then I made my way over to the Giants ballpark. Um, what is it called now? AT&T, Pac Bell. Ugh, the goddamn names change so much. But anyway, to say it's the Giants, but here's a statue to uh, Willie Mays, of course, classic. <clears throat> I would have put on a Giants cap if I had remembered I shot all these photos in San Francisco, but I completely forgot. Um, 
Here's another statue, but they have all these beautiful statues around the stadium, which I thought were cool. Oh, uh, here's the name. Oracle Park. All right, so I was a few names off. It was definitely at and at some point. It's definitely Pac Bell when it opened, maybe. Now it's Oracle. Great. <laughs> another one of these seals, but this seal has a baseball on its little nose, which I thought was really cool. This is right behind the stadium. So again, this is, I spent hours walking around San Francisco. Uh, this is just another, just, I was like, oh, that's sort of like random and cool and weird. I like it. Oh, so this is on Mission Street, um, which is a whole area and district and street in San Francisco. A lot of, uh, what's the right word? I don't know. It wasn't, it wasn't, it wasn't, it was safe. I didn't feel unsafe. But there was definitely a lot of just homelessness and just sad, honestly, ness going on there. A lot of San Francisco, but particularly in Mission Street, which is sort of the way it's always been. But so yeah, I thought, ooh, Chinese food and donuts, that is uh, an interesting combo. And there are all these like on Mission Street, like all these just boarded up, dilapidated theaters like this with all these grand, beautiful signs, which I just thought were stunning. Um, so it's trying to capture, trying to capture. I don't know if I necessarily got it. This one's, a, this photo itself is a little under too, but it's also just like a cloudy, weird, kind of rainy day, which when you don't get the, we don't get the sky to pop on film, sometimes it really takes away from the photos. Uh, but here's another one. So new mission here. Well, more, as you can see, just these places are, just just completely gone nothing there but this is like from you know a, a while not just covid related i guess here's a beautiful uh mural right off of mission it was like a block or two in i don't even know where i don't even know where i go i just literally walk and walk and walk and find my way around places but really beautiful ah and i had one more pick to get so i could get the film developed so here's back here's my favorite shot to take through my window to the Williamsburg Bridge. Uh, obviously, this is one of those where, because you can't exactly see where the lens is pointing, um, it's hard to frame out properly. But the colors look beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Um, yeah. But that's it. Those are the first two rolls I shot on Kodak, Kodak Gold. I, I, I love it. I really love it. And the fact that it's a little cheaper than Portra um, has a lot of very similar colors, and I think these came out really, really nice. I'm a fan. I'm a big fan. I might honestly just switch to shooting this on my medium format stuff because I love these. Um, but let me know what you guys think. Have you guys messed with the film? Let me know what your favorite photo was, and subscribe for more uh, because I do a lot of camera stuff here, whether it's film or new cameras. Um, I just bought a Leica. Um, we had some issues. There's a video you could watch before with my issues currently. I have not been able to actually take a photo with it yet, but I promise you a video is coming soon with the first photos on my Leica. Um, so subscribe, hit the notification button for that. And until then, like the button, hit the like button, and I will uh, see you guys later. Bye.